Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to compare your Figma designs with live website URLs using the Pixelay plugin. So the first thing we need to do, if you just jump into the Figma community, search for the word Pixelay, so that's P-I-X-E-L-A-Y, and under the plugins tab, you'll see Pixelay pop up. If you just click on the install button, you'll be ready to go. So I'm just going to jump back into my file and I'm just using a portfolio website today to compare and I'm just going to right click anywhere go down to plugins and click on Pixelay. And that's just gonna open up the plugin we just installed a moment ago. Um, so it's a fairly simple interface. All we need to do is uh, put in our website that we wanna compare our designs with. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna be comparing uh, this portfolio site. So I'm just gonna copy the URL from the website and paste it into the top bar over here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna set that as the base sort of default URL to compare. Um, but in my case, I actually don't want to compare the home page. I want to compare the about page and the projects page. Um, so what I can do is I can actually override these URLs per page or per frame. And I can just do that by going to the URL, clicking on that, copy pasting it, pasting it into the uh, input fields here in the plugin. And if I grab the projects page, I'm going to copy paste that URL into the input as well. And now you can see it's um, going to compare the about page for these two because we've got the mobile on the desktop and then the projects page just on the desktop one uh, for this one. Uh, so that's the way that uh, you put in the URLs and all you have to do is just select the ones that you want. I'm just going to leave all of them checked. I've only got a few and after you've selected them just click on the compare designs button in the plugin. So if you click on that it's going to prompt you to create a new URL uh, which will be a pixelay URL. So you just have to click on the upload designs button this will just show it the first time it loads the plugin. Um, once you've uploaded it, as we'll see in a minute, uh, you can actually re-upload them. So if you make changes to your Figma designs and you wanna re-upload them or you wanna change the URLs or add more or remove frames, uh, you can actually do that and re-upload these uh, designs to the same URL and you'll be able to refresh that. So we'll have a look at what that looks like in a second. Um, but for now, it's just gonna be doing the initial upload of the designs and also create uh, your own Pixelay URL, which is going to open up a web app uh, in a minute once the uh, upload finishes. Um, so in a second, once it finishes, we're going to see a couple of different things. Um, this is different to the last tutorial, which is mostly just comparing uh, local development website builds. This one's going to be for production builds. Um, so as you can see here, it's now ready. Uh, it's created the URL that we can use. And uh, we've got two options here. So we can either compare local development URLs, so that's things like localhost or um, you know local web development on your machine, um, or you can compare live URLs, which is what we we want to do today. Um, so these are two different web app URLs that you can use. Um, and because we're going to be comparing live website URLs, we also need to make sure that we've installed the Pixelay browser extension. Um, so you can do that just by clicking on the link here, and that will take you to the Chrome store. Uh, I'm using the Brave browser, uh, which is very similar to the Chrome browser. And so your button might say um, install, uh, install in Chrome or install in Brave. And if you just click on that button up here, uh, it should look like mine where it then says remove because it's now been installed. Um, so I've already installed it, but if you haven't, um, just click on that link in the plugin, open up the extensions page and click on install and then you'll be ready to go. So once you've installed the Chrome extension or the browser extension, uh, you can now go to the uh, Pixelay web app URL. So you can do that by just copy pasting uh, the link. So you can click on the little copy icon here, copy it to your clipboard, and then we can open up uh, that URL in our browser. And that's just gonna load up the Pixelay web app uh, to your unique URL that you've just created from the Figma plugin. So you can see here, it's uh, loaded up our designs and uh, we can actually scroll across left to right. And you'll notice here that our Figma designs have been uploaded, but there's also some uh, other, other designs going on, which are actually from the live website. Um, so the easiest way to see this is we can either um, change the opacity. So this changes the opacity of the overlay, uh, or we can actually switch directly into the Figma design or the live website itself. So that is the live website there. You can see if I hover over these items, that's all live. Uh, these are all, uh, this is all HTML. 
and the Figma version is just the design. There's nothing going on here, it's just the design. Um, so the comparison modes actually let you compare the two. So we can see here, we can actually compare the design and the build by changing the opacity. We can uh, look at the split version, so we can actually use a split screen to sort of compare them. That's another way we can do it. Uh, we can also use the diff mode, which can be helpful for uh, finding really subtle differences. Um, this helps you sort of find those. Uh, if we need to, we can actually move the overlays around to change the offset, just in case the offset uh, in the website has some weird stuff going on. You can change that a little bit there too. And of course, we can also do measurement. So if you're in development mode and you want to figure out how how off these uh, these things are, you can click anywhere and measure them to get the difference in pixels. Um, so that's the, that's the way you can do that. Uh, you can also jump to frames. This is handy if you've got a bunch of different frames. We've only got three, um, but you can actually skip directly to those frames as well. Um, and just use that menu there and that will jump straight to them. You don't have to sort of scroll a whole bunch to, to get there. Um, and you can see here, it's the entire page. So we're comparing multiple viewports at the exact same time. Uh, we don't need to you know, switch between pages. We can just scroll left and right very easily up and down. You'll get the entire viewport and these viewports are being matched to your Figma designs. Um, so the size of the viewports, the width and the height are exactly whatever your frames are in Figma. So you're really getting a uh, truly responsive comparison because it's changing the viewport to match the width of the Figma frame. Uh, so you can really see what the responsive version actually looks like um, compared to the, the original Figma design. Um, so that's that's what that looks like there. Um, so yeah, it's really, really simple. You can just keep comparing these uh, as much as you want. So the idea here would be if you've got a live website, you can do QA on it, uh, quality assurance, and check that everything's actually looking the way that it should. Uh, these designs are a bit outdated. That's why the, the copy looks different, but you can see already like um, you could tweak the, the menu margins just to make sure those are all lining up exactly um, if you wanted to really tweak them. Same with the columns. The columns are a little bit uh, too wide or not wide enough in this case. Um, so the idea here is you would go back to your website development update these uh, visual changes in, in your code and push it up to the live site. And then hopefully you'd have something that's much, much uh, closer to the original Figma designs. Um, so that's how you can compare those. And as I mentioned, you can also re-upload these. So if you wanted to uh, re-upload these, so for example, in the case of uh, the projects page, if I just jump back into the development mode, um, I'm just gonna copy that new text and I'm gonna put that into the uh, projects area. Whoops. Um, actually, I don't have that font, so I can't do that. But if I could do that, uh, I would. And in this case, I'm just going to kind of uh, move move these around a little bit just to show you uh, that it is going to get updated. So what I can do is I can actually rerun the plugin. So I'm just going to click on the Pixel A plugin again. And I'm just going to re-upload just the one page this time. So this time I'm just going to do the projects page. And you can see here this time when I click on the compare design button, uh, it's already showing me the link so I can get that back again. I don't have to re-upload it to get that link again. I can just jump in here, copy that link again if I needed it for quick reference, or I can also click the update designs button, which I'll do now. And this is gonna update the existing link uh, with your Figma designs re-uploaded um, to the same link. So if you just wanted to narrow it down or add more frames or change the URLs. You can use the re-upload function to uh, update the link without having to create a whole new link and share it around and um, do all that sort of thing. You can just re-upload them and, and do that really quickly. So it's just uh, confirmed it, so it's re-uploaded it. So now if I just jump back to my existing URL, I'm just gonna hit refresh. And this time we should only see the one frame uh, because we've just re-uploaded it. Um, so we can see here, it's only got one frame now. We've just updated the link that we were already using. And uh, this time you can see the design's been updated. Um, you can see the, the columns are even more out of whack now because I just wanted to show you uh, what that looks like when you do update it. Um, so it's the development mode and then the comparison mode. So yeah, you can just keep doing that. You can just keep changing either your Figma designs or the build. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to do uh, much more accurate QA on 
your uh, websites rather than having to manually kind of uh, figure out where all the differences are. This is a much quicker way of figuring out how accurate the build is compared to your original designs. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to show you how to compare your Figma designs with the live URLs instead of the local URLs, which were covered in a different YouTube tutorial. Um, so if you've been figuring out an easier way to do QA or quality assurance on your Figma designs compared to the build, um, then consider using the Pixel A plugin as uh, part of your toolkit for, for doing that. Um, so as always, thank you for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one very soon.